welcome back to my channel. Again, my name is Krisha and for today's video, time out muna tayo sa pagiging nanay o sa pagiging asawa churva. Today, I will be showing you the kind of work that I have been doing for the past two years already. I am an online teacher and I work with this Japanese company called Native Cam. I teach Japanese students. Japanese students, they're just like the kindest, the most considerate. They're very courteous and at the same time, magbibigay talaga sila ng respeto sa iyo, being their teacher. What I like about working with Japanese company is that you get to plot your own schedule. It is not a booking system and you can plot anytime, you can cancel anytime. If ever kailangan mo mag-cancel, it's totally fine. Hindi ka kakabahan na magkakaroon ka ng napakalaking, you know, penalty. As long as, of course, you do it properly, process the cancellation prior to the class. What I love about teaching online is that you get to work from home, you get to spend time with your family, with your kids, and at the same time, you can earn money. I will be showing you how you can log into their website, which you can only do once you pass the interview and once you can log in. Right? So I will be showing you how to navigate their website as well. Okay? So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so all you need to do is to go directly to their website and then just log in using your credentials and just hit enter diba? this is the landing page normally kung ano yung mga hot topics for the month ito yung nilalagay nila dito so they have morning promo it says here this promo is only applicable if ever mag log in ka using their native camp application sa inyong cell phones it will also give you the guide the best time na magkakaroon ka ng maraming students. So this is the website itself. It's very first part we have is guidelines. Everything that you need to know about the company, yung policies nila, kung paano mo is set up ang yung profile, it's in here. This is like the your ID number. Not standby mode. Once you log in, automatically, that's a not standby mode. Katalaga. If you want to start receiving students, you should change this to standby mode. It's a dashboard, guys. Ito mo makikita kung magkano ba yung pera mo. Scroll down a little bit. You can see yung rating mo. Message. Dito mo. Kailangang ilagay yung mga feedback, yung mga suggestions mo para kay student. Next tab we have is student's information. You can see here, just click more. You can see the name. And as well, you can see their ID number. If You also have the power to block certain students. Like, you know, yung mga bastos. Up to 10 students only. So you can also see the requests here in the students if they do want self-introduction or not if they want to be corrected you can also see it here okay so mo, this is very helpful pag meron ka mga regular students hindi mo makakalimutan kung ano yung mga preferences nila like their favorite food music para iwas na yung paulit-ulit na tanong kay student ito mo rin makikita yung mga previews na notes me teacher textbooks where you go if you want to change the textbook manually just click change textbook choose the book na gusto ni student first go to chapter lang si student kung ano yung gusto niya click update and then you'll be able to see the textbook you can next learning kit for teachers ito yung mga learning kits mga books na kailangan mong pag-aralan Bago ka bigyan ng badge ni Native Camp. So, pag wala ka pang badge, say for example, wala ka pang badge ng uh, 47 prefectures, so ibig sabihin ni hindi ka pwedeng i-book ni students. Na pag aralan mo na ito, uh, pasa ka na sa assessment, then Native Camp will give you the badge, and then those students, they'll be able to see you sa listahan nila. 
Japanese phrases. Ito yung mga helpful naman na mga words and phrases. He's having a hard time to understand you, so you can just copy this. Send it directly sa chat box. Next, we have translation. Say, for example, then, meron kang mga word sentences na gusto mong sabihin kay student at wala siya sa Japanese phrases, dito mo siya makukuha. For example, how are you? Start translate. Okay, so ito na siya. Copy this and then just send this sa chat box para mabasa ni student. Confirm natin ha kung tama yung translation. Okay, there you go. Na-confirm natin. Tama yung translation niya. Next, let's move on to schedule. O, eto, yung makikita nyo, yun yung mga peak indicator. Pag red, meaning maraming maraming students na magbubook during these hours. Maintenance, meaning hindi ka pwedeng magbook ng klase. So, if you want to open slots, you just have to click this buttons you are ready to receive students and at the same time students na gusto kang ebook which is by the way pag nag click ka na ng available sa schedule mo and then you also change this to standby any moment papasukan ka ng mga student that is what we called sudden class pag nag book talaga in advance yung students sa yo merong nakalagay yan na name ni student mas malaki yung bayad pag binuka ni student ng advance. I think pag bago ka pa lang, sudden class, 57 point something yung bayad sa yung for 25 minutes. While kapag nag binuka in advance si student, bibigyan ka ni native camp ng I think 80 pesos for 25 minutes. Okay, let's move on. Reservation. Dito ba makita yung mga student na nag-book sa yo or nag-pa-reserve sa yo in advance? History. Lahat ng mga students mo na nagkanda ka ng klase, dito mo makikita. Lesson review. Ito yung mga evaluation ni customer sa'yo. Account. This is where you set up your account, like your picture, your card number, your date of birth, everything. Dito ka pupunta dapat sa account tab. Test my cam if you want to see if working ba yung picture mo or yung microphone mo dyan ka pupunta just notice lahat na mga news mga notice na pinapublish yung native camp dito mo siya makikita of course rule pag may bago silang policy dito mo rin siya makikita payment Again, this is your payment statements. Maki virtual background. Pwede kang mag-select ng virtual background mo. Say, for example, you want this or you want that. Tignan kaya natin. Let's change. Okay. Teacher ranking. Ayan. Kung anong rank ka na ba. Dito mo makita yung top 10, top 5. Diyan mo lahat makikita, guys. Inquiry. Kapag merong message para sa iyo si Native Camp, meron kang mga warning letters, violations, dito nila isi-send sa iyo yan. Open space. Dito ka pwedeng, you know, magtanong sa ibang teachers. Dito ka rin pwedeng mag magbigay ng help sa ibang teachers na nangangailangan ng tulong mo. And then if you want to, you know, just log out, just click log out. Meron video dito para sa start sudden lesson, meron din para sa booked lesson. Alright, let's click log out. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope na tulungan ko po kayo sa mga questions nyo about sa website ni Native Camp. Overall, I think it's a very user-friendly na website. And makita-kita po ulit tayo on my next vlog about online teaching. Goodbye!